Tape is rolling. Alrighty, get and go live. Quiet on the set. Okay, well, guess what we're going to do? We're going to insert intro here. It was working right this before. The grimy traders broke. Greetings, everybody. This is Laz. And this is the Jack. Welcome to another edition of Technical Difficulties with Lunch with Laz and Jack, where we interpret the news so you... Don't have to. That's Sorry, right. Said, clap, clap. Yeah, thank you, Sid. It, clap, 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 it, clap, clap. <laughs> it's like a, that's it's like right. a Monday around here. It, well, you like know, that. first day of the week for us. Uh, you know, is uh, it, 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 Mur Mur Murphy's record, taking over. What can I say? <laughs> yeah, the, the the soundboard was working right before. Right up until the time I the pushed intro. the button. I even tested yeah. it before. Anyway, welcome to today's show. It is Wednesday, July 5th, 2017, here inside of the Shroud of the Avatar. And, of course, all sorts of uh, news, all sorts of updates, all sorts of stuff happened over the weekend. Of course, for those of you who missed it, uh, you may want to get out there. Hey. Help! 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 You may want to get out there and uh, wish Lord British a happy belated birthday. If not, you may want to just make sure you're ready to take part in the Telethon stream uh, tomorrow starting at 3 p.m. It's a mini Telethon. And, of course, we'll have a little bit more on that tomorrow for you. Um, of course, just... All sorts of updates going on out there. So, and, uh, someone's going to be there. I don't know who that would be. Yeah, somebody's going to be helping out, fielding questions and other stuff too. And I wouldn't know. I wouldn't <laughs> know any guys who help with any of that stuff down there. You know, never. You know, so I, 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 I don't even know. I'm, I'm showing up like an hour before the stream and. I'll probably like saunter in and it's like, okay, let's get this ball rolling. Yep. <laughs> and sit on down. And just do what you do here. Yeah, it's like, yeah, okay. Spiff, you're hitching, you buddy. You're hitching. Get up and sit down and start all over. Oh, there it goes. See, I don't not, know. Yeah, he's okay. not hitching on my, my yeah. end. So Whatever it was, I, I don't it know. fixed. Whatever yeah. it was, it fixed itself. What can I tell you? But, of course, again, uh, Wednesday, July 5th, we're back from a four-day weekend. Uh, uh, I think I did more work over the four days than I would have done if we actually had done shows, Jack. I don't know. It's one of those things, yeah. You take some time off and you Wait, work. wait, wait. You are working? Why were you doing that? Well, why? you know, oh, I, I got, you know, towns to fill up. Uh, uh, you know, uh, I, got, I, I got stuff I in the I definitely saw you company. playing around. Yeah. If people actually uh, got confused because, of course, they see me other than an owl's head, and they're like sitting there scratching their heads, going, "What the hell's Laz doing out of owl's head?" Yes, hey, we, we uh, do I, eventually I to, get out. I had to wait for you for a bit in Soul Town so that way I could restock the vendor. Yeah, well, is uh, speaking of Sultan, uh, I want want to let everybody know that uh, it's opening very oh, it's soon, rental. huh? <laughs> 
Or is it going to be a bordello? Is the Sultan in Inn and Bordello? Yes. Uh, what did I actually name that? I got to actually look that up. It's too funny. <laughs> but I yes, no uh, got, got my second inn uh, sitting over in Sultan. First one's out in Journey's Inn. And of course, uh, a little, of course, shameless self promotion. We never do anything like that around here. Uh, for those never. of you guys looking for a West Coast marketplace, I've just opened up the town of Journey's End, sitting right outside Blood River and the Blood River outskirts, right between Blood River and Erie. And the town Journey's End is built to be the West Coast marketplace. It's Rolot Central, and uh, I got a picture of that. I'll show you one on the way out as we. Uh, you are you, you advertisers and all that good stuff. You, you you haven't turned around and put everything on Soda Map yet. Oh yeah, it's all on Soda Map. Okay. Okay. Well, you know. okay, so you got the entire town layout on Soda Map. Oh, absolutely. Is uh, well, shit. Let's uh, let's bring it up for the folks. Let me bring it up for the folks. I wasn't gonna do that right this point in the in the show but uh, neither was i but now, now i've got <laughs> now i feel obligated since i turned around and i started and said it, for right? it. Yeah. let's get this over in uh in the other window there so we can see this and yes uh you can see the town of journey's end uh I've got the uh, check marks on Soda Map so that you can see what's available right now, what's taken, and what's reserved. The uh, red lots are the ones that are already taken by folks who have moved in over this weekend. Yellow lots are reserved, and the green lots are available. You do not need me to move into the town. The ones with green uh, opened up. All you got to do is go over, claim your lot, place your vendor, open your store. And as soon as I get out there and see your vendor, um, if you notice, I'm, uh, you know, everybody who's moved in has their vendor's name and their lot location updated. And uh, by the time we're finished, this is going to be about 70-some-odd uh, vendors out here. Um, so if you're Excellent. looking for a place Excellent. out in the newbie area and uh, you, you know, you're looking for a place to sell your goods on the West Coast, uh, now's the time to get in because uh, there's lots available and they're free, folks. So come on down to Journey's End. Check it out. Uh, if you want something special or you want a lot that's not available as of yet, PM me in-game. Hit me up in our Discord. And, uh, yeah, we'll get you taken care of. Laz is always around. Hit up Laz. So, so you set up a public vendor out there where anyone can put stuff on it? There is a public vendor at the inn. <coughs> Um, I'll, I'll zoom in on that. As you can see, there's another blank spot there. That's reserved for the next in that goes in. But yes, uh, the link in public vendor, the link in is the inn that is uh, in Journey's End, uh, aptly named after an old bar that I used to hang out in. Uh, still there, and uh, they, they have the record for selling the most hot dogs of any bar in Orlando, so... Uh, two, for, two for a dollar, 50 cent a piece, all day, every day. And that attracted the crowd, of course. <laughs> so, anyway, uh, for all the residents, there is a public vendor. Otherwise, uh, you know, public vendors, tough to come by. you got to make everybody uh, a guest or a resident. Unlike... Uh, Give everybody permission to yes. manipulate and control... But, of course, we'll, we Dickie will be taking care away. of those folks out there. There is a public vendor for folks who are going to be living in the inn so that they have a place to uh, sell their wares as well. Laz has got that covered. So, again. So, it uh, sounds like I, I can't kind of need to go out there and uh, stock up uh, the uh, teleports and recall scrolls. So that way people don't buy those inferior teleports and recall scrolls uh -huh. from uh, that Lazarus guy. See, see, there's a good thing about owning your own towns. Oh, yeah. I'm uh, probably yeah. doing more sales than anybody right now because they're all coming out to stock their vendors and they forget their scrolls. So on the way out the door, they're picking up scrolls and recalls. <laughs> oh, yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, and I, I love the lot location right by where you poured in. So it's even better. Well, I, I'm, I took that just initially. Um, of course, I... Hey, hey, I, hey, hey. Marketing. 
yeah, the well, rules of real estate. You know, rules of real estate. If somebody wants that lot, I'm I'm more than capable of moving for a price. So you know, if you want yeah. that upfront lot, you know that Laz has got. You know, I can move to one of these reserved houses in the back. I'm not worried about that. Or I can move over to the inn. Now, of course, the inns are centrally located, and people go, well, "Why are they all the way down there?" Well. You know, I got another town that's uh, sitting there, the Red Hook Underground. And, of course, when people come out of the underground or going into the underground, they got to come across the bridge. So I, I've tried to make it convenient for people coming and going through the underground as well. But that's another story. How about some news, Jack? You think we can... Uh... Well, I mean, do, do we I mean, want to do the news, weekend but, yeah. update? I mean... Since it is Wednesday, but we do have the no. We did the, the weekend telethon. update before we came out of. Well, we did it on Friday. We did the update. We did. Uh, oh, okay. Let's sure. start Why on not? the uh, Shrouded Avatar homepage because uh, we got a couple panels of stuff there that we can talk about right off the bat and get everybody up to date. What what's going on this week? What's happening? What's coming up in local events? And of course, well, uh, we've got the. F- free trial going on until the end of the month that's right which is big news so if you're new to shroud of the avatar then we also have the 50 percent off on steam i don't know if that's still ongoing or not summer sale uh last i looked it was still ongoing yeah um but i i haven't checked uh yeah, Shroud of the Avatar is still on sale on steam so if you're looking for getting into the game for 1999. 1999. You can do that. Yes. And you too so. can come join us here in Trinity Avatar. Half off. And then nice. tomorrow we do have the six hour long Lord British birthday telethon. Mm-hmm. Followed by uh, the Rooster Teeth convention in Austin. RTX Austin happening over the weekend. The boys and girls from uh, Portalarium will be in attendance. So if you're in the area, go on down, check them out. And, of course, uh, you know, say hello, ask questions. That's what they're going to be there for, and I'm sure they're going to be pushing uh, Shrouded Avatar as we get closer to our anticipated launch or release. So uh, oh, yeah. they, these guys are going to be on the circuit. RTX is just one of the... Uh, Starters, Richard just came from Barcelona, and uh, again, RTX is here. Uh, Comic Con is R- next. RTX is actually really special because that is also where uh, Richard first mentioned they announced Shrouded Avatar, uh, right? Shrouded the Avatar. Yes, so before Kickstarter, so uh, Rooster Teeth is an Austin based company. Um, that was really got into it based off of their red versus blue series. Um, I used to work with said, those guys. also announced Dark Star coming aboard. Yes, yeah, absolutely. And Dark Star coming uh, aboard. Th- that was where Dark yeah. Star was announced. Thank you, Sid. Absolutely correct. Yeah, and that was all happening. You know, just just as he was being signed, I understand. Uh, but great stuff out there. Uh, free trial, we've already mentioned. You're going to hear us jam that down your throat over the next month. So uh, get used to it. Tell your friends. Let everybody know they can come and try before they buy. What more can you ask for? Uh, you don't have to plunk down the money right up front. Uh, but if you want to try it out, it's got a few limitations. Uh, the, all the information is located on the uh, website. Click on the uh, Play Free Now link, and that'll take you to all the information you need to know for a free trial or for those of you guys who uh, want to reset your characters without resetting your characters you can create a new account and uh, test the quest path from a newbie's point of view always a nice way to do that and it limits you so you really have to work at it so good way to give that a good once over and that's for sure but speaking yeah. of uh, the telethon Let's uh, bring the telethon details up there for the good boys, boys and girls out there. Because, of course, like every other telethon out there, uh, Lord British's birthday bash telethon uh, also has all the great things. We got stretch goals. We got expiring Wait, items. But yeah, the expiring items and then I, the teletype's going to expire. 
I know, got mine. I, yeah. I, I was fir- I was first in line. You and I, brother, we, we were right there getting those bad boys. Yeah, and then the telescope, uh, some cobalt radiant energy yeah. stuff, some fireworks. Um, got, got more fireworks than I know what to do with. We, yeah, you have to remember this is not the full twelve hour long telethon. This is only a six hour it's telethon, telethon telethons. between three so, and guy. nine little guy. central time. That's right. Yeah. Um. So only six hours. So. Yeah, don't forget at ten thousand dollars you get uh, if ten thousand dollars is raised, silver fireworks at twenty five, the flower wand trick. Uh, because you know what? Lord British is an amateur magician. He he is. Isn't he in yeah. the uh, magician's hall of fame? Uh, I don't know if he's in the hall of fame. I, th- I thought he was I an honorary an he... honorary Well he might be an honor he's he might be an honorary member, but I don't think he's an ah, in okay, the hall that may of be fame. it. That may be it. Um yeah. So I mean, he does do a lot, hang out with a lot of music. Uh, sorry, magicians, magicians at times. Musicians, and, magicians, same difference. You know, Patrick they, they all get bashed. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hey, everybody that, wants to hang out with Neil Patrick Harris. That's right. Hey, MPH, I, man. Come on, MPH. <laughs> do, Doogie himself. And eat White Castle. <laughs> I mean, who, who else can say legend? Wait for it. Barry, the same way that he can. Uh, so thirty-five thousand. Uh, thirty-five thousand. It would be the Lord British helmet with the silver serpent, which is also a light source. Mm-hmm. And fifty thousand is the Lord British throne. Sixty-five thousand would be the tuxedo with tails and two magic emotes, the bird trick and the endless cloth trick, because you, you want to be always. Pull yeah. things out of your mouth. Yeah, I, I love gigs. I love gigs. <laughs> Wait, what, what's gigs doing? Well, he did what's that. He does the an, animation for that, uh, doesn't he? Uh, animations, yes. <laughs> there, there may or may not be any innuendo in there. Yeah, that. well, Andy, thank you. Yeah, we, we know better. The, the Lord, <laughs> at 80, if we reach 80,000, the Lord British version of the moon dial. Now, folks, so. I got to tell you, not for nothing. I know that they're telling us that that's not the actual picture, but uh, I would I would hate for them to show us that picture and then give us a tabletop version after showing us Wait, that you, picture. You you're you're saying that they you you want the cube size version uh, 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 of the window? Uh, uh, I mean, uh, uh, they just randomly choice. pulled a picture. It was their choice. Now they could have randomly Wait. pulled the village picture. Come on now. You, you, you know what would be really funny is if they turned around and made the tabletop version like a tabletop of the castle wall set just just for you just to yes, you put like, put it put it's it's it in a little version. keep surrounding so that you can you know yeah how about like they a, put a it in a little keep? crystal ball so I can you know, make make believe that I've got it on a keep line someplace yeah <laughs> so so you need your slow, snow globe just, yeah my snow just globe to make you feel better there you go my snow globe moon dial there you go there's yeah. an idea why don't we have snow globes Richard star come on guys snow globes C- could it, I turn my elven it, house into be. a into a snow globe house you know that would be cool, cool it pretty me? much already is. You, you can uh, get a skin for it for the holiday season and turn it into an Easter snow yeah. globe, a uh, Thanksgiving snow globe, a uh, Christmas snow globe, a Niagara Falls snow globe. <laughs> yeah. So th- there are a ton right of along. questions that have already been placed. Um, don't forget, if you want to have a question asked of the devs, this is a shorter Ooh, telethon. So what a good some of the segue. things are... Questions, questions, questions. We had a little snafu over the weekend. Um, and I don't know how many people actually caught what actually happened out there. Uh, of course, uh, Star has just recently returned from sickness and uh, vacation time. And uh, was doing a little catch-up. And posted the uh, questions from the last post-mortem. And then all of a sudden... Yes, I guess people were asking some really interesting questions, and Star decided to delete the whole thread because it was becoming a pain in the ass, and then he posted that. At which point, I guess he got a lot of flack from the community, 
and he reposted a modified version of the answers and, of course, thanked everybody for riding his ass over it because, you know, listen, you know, this is what they do. You don't post the questions and your answers and then delete them and go, I wasn't happy with, you know. No, that's not the transparency that we do around here, and I guess Star knew that. So Star went ahead and reposted the questions uh, with some modifications. And, of course, all the commentary that was originally there uh, was deleted, unless, of course, you happen to get email notifications uh, of all the <laughs> comments and all that good stuff. And you know what was said, but... Uh, not going to de- delve into all that. Star had very good reason to do it. But thank you, Star, uh, for reconsidering and getting those questions back out there to the boys and girls. And uh, Yeah, I didn't see that because I was busy having a flat tire. Yeah, you, you were busy stuck on the side of the road outside your brother's house, weren't you? Yeah. You weren't even outside your brother's house. You were, you were out in BFE on your way home, weren't you? <laughs> Uh, no, well, the flat tire happened on the way to my brother's farm, and it, those of you that, so my brother's farm doesn't have electricity, running water, nothing, Cable, it's just nothing. farmland, yeah. It, yeah. it's Not nothing. <laughs> it, 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 describing it, uh, it, but it's, so I was driving on a, a county, an unpaved county road, and a chunk of metal just went Boom. into the tire, yeah. and then, boom. So, had a uh, had a donut. Put that donut in, and the donut was uh, underinflated. So I drove. Ended up at a discount tire. Uh, discount an hour auto later. tire parts. Gotta love it. Yeah, discount tire, mm, and uh, donut. found out that thankfully my tire was under warranty, so uh, it only cost eighteen dollars to replace it. Yeah. Three hours later, I not, got to not go like the two thousand dollar headlight on. on that car. <laughs> oh fuck! Yeah. <laughs> Anyway, moving Jeez. right along. Yeah, that, that was a that was a <laughs> painful process. But anyway, okay, moving yeah. right along. Oh yes, where do you want to go? Do, Thank you, you wanna, for the do, subscription, and that's right, that's right. folks. Uh, just recently, uh, a little bit more shameless self promotion. Uh, of course, the good boys and girls over at Twitch have decided to change things up. So. Arius and Jack, of course, uh, have gotten their subscription and uh, cheering status about two weeks ago, three weeks ago. And, a month uh, ago. <laughs> it was, I don't know, it was about a, it was a month already now. No, and, no, no, uh, yeah, of course, uh, no, we just not got... The, not, the, not the subscription. Yeah, the subscription just, just came week. out. Um, and we just got ours. Uh, if you guys noticed us missing from the 24-hour loop... Uh, that was in order to get the uh, affiliate status, which Twitch, which we have achieved. So you, too, can now subscribe to uh, all of our channels. You can go out there and cheer with bits. Or, of course, you can uh, do the usual thing and donate through PayPal or become a patron of NBNN. But uh, cheering Yay. don't cost you nothing. You can go out and watch some cheesy commercials and get free bits. Of course, for all of those of you who have Amazon Prime accounts, uh, you get a free subscription to one of your favorite streamers on Twitch. So if you have an Amazon uh, Prime account and you want us to do some support and don't cost you nothing, go out and uh, connect your Amazon account and cheer us on. Subscribe to us. Uh, every little bit helps. And of course, we love you guys. Uh, you know, if it wasn't for you guys, we'd be two guys sitting on a lot. Was that was that the first subscriber? You were. Yes, 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 you first number subscriber one. too. Numero you're uno. number one. Yay. You're number one. No, <laughs> you're number one. <laughs> oh, wait, wrong yeah, one. Yeah, yeah, I had the wrong finger up too. You know, it's the Brooklyn. <laughs> yeah, it was, uh, yeah, it's just it's an automatic <laughs> reference. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's like, but thank you, Arius, very much. And yes, you too can become a subscriber. Uh, of course, I'm going to tell you up front, if you want to become a subscriber, um, I would suggest you subscribe through Patreon. Uh, oh, yeah, absolutely, because that four ninety nine subscription fee on Twitch, um, half of it goes to Twitch. Half of it goes to those guys. But if that's how you got to do yeah, it, and that's and all fine, well, and good, it, thank you, the Airy Fun Live, for subscribing. Second subscriber, thank you, guys. Yay! But of, but, of course, if you really want to support us at the best, 
Oh, House of Omen. Just subscribe. Omen, you see you made it to the show. Thank you, House of Omen. Omen. Yay. And, of course, uh, every penny of the... Uh, well, not every penny of the uh, Patreon. More, more pennies from Patreon go to us than through Twitch. But, of course, uh, every little bit helps. And we thank you and love you for all your support there. TNS Wax, thank you very much for the subscription. Boy, the shameless self-promotion. <laughs> I know. Don't, it's, don't know. Yeah. Don't know yeah. But thank you, thank you, thank you, everybody. And again, uh, it took us a while. Uh, while you know, we were striving towards uh, getting that partnership status. I guess Twitch realized that the, it made sense to open it up to us little guys who actually you know do some stuff around here. I mean, we're not those you know thousand follower streamers every every time we turn on, but. We've got a pretty good fan yeah. base, and you guys have been great to us. Uh, and, of course, we love you for the support. You know, we're doing this for you guys. We're doing it for fun. And we're having just a great time bringing you news every day here in Trinity Avatar. Speaking of news, we still got plenty to cover and uh, not we, enough time to cover. We've got stand-up corner from Monday. We've got stand-up corners. we got the Q3 we questions. haven't touched. we got the questions yeah, the we haven't questions. touched. We've got all kinds uh, of stuff to talk about um, today. Geez, what else just came out? There was or another one. We, we we could invite everybody over to hang out with us in Discord. Just go to the nbnn.info page, click on Discord, uh, join us in channel. If that's too complicated, discord.me slash nbnn, and that'll bring you straight into the channel. And then as long as you follow the rule number one, it's the only e rule. Hashtag You're welcome. E that's right. Yeah. That's right. We are the only show on the air five days a week that invites you, the audience, to come chat with us live in here. Uh, you want something uh, off your chest? You're enjoying something? You got some information? You got a sale? You got a shop? Uh, you just want to say hello? You want to tell us we suck? Come on in. Uh, we're, 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 we've got tough skin. We don't we don't care about it. Come on in. Tell us what's going we on. We care about day. a whole lot of nothing. That's I'm right. Gonna, that NFG. Yeah. Now, of course, the other thing I wanted to mention, I knew I, it would come back to me. Uh, right before the show, they do it to us every time. The latest patch is out. 624 is out. And, of course, we got patch notes on that. So where do we want to start? Stand up Chris's notes, uh, patch notes, release notes, questions. We got all sorts well, of stuff to cover. For stand up, stand up's got some new information on it for we, the people out there. We haven't done and a stand so, up in a few days. That might be a nice I know, place it's, to start. It's, it's like, so, so this is the stand up from Monday, July third. Hang on, hang on. They, they, that was actually a work day for them. Monday. Yes. Let me sit yeah. down while you do stand up. Okay. Yes. You're gonna we, sit we, down we'll while sit we do down while we do the stand up. Sit, that's right. <laughs> and don't forget, stand up is where they say, hey, I worked on this yesterday, and I'm working on this today. Then something random gets now, written down, course, and eventually we get to an interpret it. I'm going to remind uh, everybody about the NBNN drinking game, and you too can play the game every time uh, Jack says the word. Bugs. Bugs. Laz turns and around and says, bugs. bugs. And you take a drink. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Yeah. Hi, so, I love this guy. <laughs> That's the, that's the way you And the great thing is, if you really want to have a good time, you watch us again at 6, and you watch us again at 12, and you'll stay drunk all day long. So. Is <laughs> yeah. it Hatch Week? Yeah. You can, <laughs> exactly. You, you can go put on the NBNN loop and stay drunk for days on end. There you go. <laughs> yeah. So over in the art department, Bob the Builder. Cult of Bob. He was junk in a ship. Junk in a ship. That's right. Uh, he's working on some new house types, and I guess that's going to go with the Asian theme. So let's bring on the junks. The junk ship. Sounds like something yeah. Zeke would have in his yard. Well, I, if, if, if it was Zeke's, it would be all kind of... If it's redneck enough, he'll have it. Crabs <laughs> running all over it. And, uh, he's going to have the, the wenches pants, and hoes. Yeah. All up there, the midgets with the Mazzola, the whole works up there in the junk ship. Oh, yeah. And then Damon. Damon Waldrop. Working on the bugs. Bug. And release 44 planning. Fletcher. Fletch lives. Working on bugs. Bug. 
and bugs. Bug. Uh, Fletch wanted you to have a double. That's what it was. Yeah, I know. Yeah, <laughs> Kevin. Kevin Wells. We're going to bugs. Bug. And a boring ass Colossus. A boring ass Colossus. Ooh. Yeah. Over in design. Beezus. The bees. We're going to bugs. Bug. And merchants. Sea Wolf. Sea Wolf. We're going on Yenniford. Yenniford. And Bugs. Bug. And kicking off the planes. He's kicking the planes? What? Kicking off the planes. Oh, I yeah. mean, it's like, woohoo! Planes. Yeah, we got football. Automobiles. Yeah, we got something. We got something. Uh, yeah, Damien. Damien. He's got a war against Mother Nature and the anti druid. Uh oh. Cover cover his what? ears. He didn't hear that. What? La 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 la. You didn't hear that. <laughs> <laughs> and forums bugs. Bug. And side quests. Side quests. I'm you gonna know, give him a side quest. You know, I could use a really good side quest about now. How about you? I could use a side quest. Dan the man. Dan the man, Brennan. We're gonna bugs. Bug. And sizing up those minions. Hmm, minions. I need lots and of minions. And release 44 plan. And my plan to try and take over the world. Yeah. The, the, we're, we're not doing very well on that. Hey, it's, I don't know about we're, you. We're, yeah. we're, 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 we're growing steady. <laughs> we're, steady. We're not doing bad on the internet when we put us all together. That's right. No. Yeah. Nope, nope, yeah. Nope. Slowly but surely we grow the conglomerate. We take over yes. the airwaves. We take over the land. Pew. Pew. Yeah, Pew. Sanio working on bugs Bug. and interactives testing and a kickoff meeting. Kickoff. What about interactive bugs? <laughs> yeah, we got enough of those well, already. He's given the bugs the in out. Bug. The bloody old in out. In out. Lum the mad. Lum the perturbed. The, the, this one's going to be a little bit interesting. The bug seven kickoff meetings. Bug. I, I wonder why that's bugs seven kickoff meetings. That's a good question. I, I I don't. I mean, typo maybe. Probably. I mean, it's like uh, that. That shift seven was way too complicated. Yeah, yeah, that yeah. Shift key. That errant shift key. And sorcerer Steve. You've got nothing for sorcerer Steve. Never do. Okay. No, Working on bugs. Bug. And play testing Blood River Outskirts. And Airy Kickoff. Airy Kickoff. I love all the work they're doing out there in Longfall. Showing the oh, love. Yeah, Showing yeah. the love. Love it. Love you this love shit. it just That's because like, it's I love like, this. Yeah, hey, let's, let's go I took a calculated gamble yeah. on that placement. And you knew how much of a risk I took going there. A lot of people told me I was crazy. And I said, yeah, crazy like a fox. Hey. Expansion I, I three it. goes below us, and expansion four goes right there. I'm I'm yep. prime. Now we've got moon gates. Yes, moon gates, lunar rifts, whatever the hell you want to call it. But we got a moon yeah. gate from Owl's Head to Blood River. That was bank, buddy. That it's was bank. Yeah, the energy vortex himself, List Rostov. List Rostov. He decided that he wanted to work on some bugs. Bug. And a kickoff our, meeting. Our own little ballerina. Yeah. And, and Granis. 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 Speak, speak, well, speak, it's got an Gran anus in there. Granis, where is Zep today? <laughs> I I have no idea. I, you know, the two days off, you know, he'll be gone for a week I going. I thought you're taking a week I, off. <laughs> yeah. It's like, oh, uh, yeah. He's, that's what happens when you're retired. I got retired. to get my coffee. Yep. Over in tech. <laughs> Little boy Bobby. Damn it, Bobby. Damn it, We're going to have bugs. Bug. What the hell? That's right. I know. Hank, tell him. Everybody should tell be him, nice, and, nice and toasty right about now. 
Especially with Eric also working on the bugs. Bug. Followed by JY. Mm -hmm. Not to be confused with KY. Mm -hmm. Working on the interactive errors oh, and my. network issues. Wizard smoke. Yeah. It's Puff Puff <laughs> passing around the office. The bugs. Bug. <laughs> and the death bringer, one and only. He's receiving the bugs. Bug. Burning toad. The burn. Still scratching the bugs. Bug. Still got that itch. And builds. And the shader crashes. Shader crashes. Them shaders have been an awful uh, touchy subject out there. Shaders. Shaders. Tassel okay. working on player own town price architecture up refactor. Oh. Hmm. Uh, player town upgrade is going to become a lot more expensive in the near future. Well, you know, we'll, t we'll touch on that afterwards because, again, I was looking at something, and we all we know this very well, but a lot of people may not notice, and it doesn't affect the newer people, but uh, we'll hit on that when we finish yeah. it up here. The useless overhead group. Useless we had, uh, overhead. NFG Andrea. Woohoo! Working on forums and sanity testing and the update review. The Dippy Bird. The Bird. How oh, well, about the bird? About the bird. I said it. <laughs> it's up to you, man. It's up to you. Up to me, what? You missed your key. Q, man. Oh, bug. Q. Yeah, that's it. How else I was, are people I was laughing supposed to too drink? hard. At you you were waiting for yeah. it. And <laughs> then, then it's like I started. I yeah. said bugs, and then I did the dippy bird. Yeah, you, you dirty bastard. Yeah. And performance and rooster teeth expo it. It's got to prepare the computer it's to take with working him. Working on the it. Working on the it. Gorn. Working on that business. He's. Bedazzling his red speedo mm -hmm. for the general business. Hutch. Working on bugs. Bug. Also preparing to he head over to Rooster Teeth. And the character appearance screen user face updates. Character Ooh. appearance screen. Uh -uh. Maybe he's going to include the, the oft-requested bust enhancer. The bust enhancements? Yes. And the, le the lesser uh, requested uh, penis enhancements? <laughs> yeah, we need, we, need, we need a slider. <laughs> Bro, Jack, I got a slider. <laughs> Jack's waiting for that cod piece still, I know. I know, that cod piece is going to be awesome. <laughs> The Attenwood, he's working on sanity testing and forms and regression and the update review. Chaos, pulling out the patch notes and database integration and rooster teeth planning and Jira updates. Wait, wait. Yes. You see really that new right. You NFG. see that right. Sasha. Okay. Really Andrea NFG. Vineyard. Sasha. Welcome to the crew. You're no longer NFG. I know. New NFG Sasha working on localization and general business. Business. And accounting. Serafina working on customer service. That wonderful customer service like only Sarah can give. And shipping and regression tests. And she last but not least, the Dork Star working on. Too. Yeah. Working on that weekly update in convention prep and seed invest direction and forums and meetings. And that's mm -hmm. what they said they're working on on Monday. Tuesday they had the day off. Yes, uh, they're not and slave they're drivers right. down there. Uh, they did have the holiday off. Of course, uh, yeah, I want to, of course, uh, just remind everybody that you know these guys work hard down there. So don't forget when you see them out there, give them a little appreciation. Don't always sit there and complain Dude. about shit. Now, uh, again, uh, every month for the last 43 months, these guys and girls have worked hard to get these releases out to you. 
And uh, I gotta say, this is probably one of the buggiest releases um, in a long, long time. Lately? But uh, yeah. a lot of stuff getting crammed in. Uh, again, uh, getting ready to uh, go to a, our proposed launch. And, of course, we want to get it all right. So uh, they're, they're jamming stuff in and they're fixing stuff left and right. Hmm. What's wrong with that picture? This month only, Burger King, 79 cent grilled hot dogs. Hmm. I don't know. But I probably wouldn't be eating hot dogs. Yeah, burger, burger joint. King. Hot dog? Yeah, Actually, they're probably oh, the, the Sonic ones uh, elite. Yeah, well. But uh, let's uh, revisit real quick that town upgrade thing. Uh, one of those things, and I, it's always stuck me in the side the wrong way. Uh, when I bought my towns initially, my hold fast were originally $750. They then bumped the price up to $900 after a while. And, of course, at that point, then you can upgrade. But, of course, the difference between upgrading from a $900 town to and a $750 town, of course, is the difference. Uh, it's not the same price to upgrade to the next level. It's not a flat, say, $1,000. It's the... Uh, $150 difference between the $750 and $900, and then on top of that, there's the upgrade fee. And I really don't think that's oh, right. Yeah. yeah. <sighs> Part for the course in this game, you're being punished. Well, you know, and again, that was brought up back in the day. You know, listen, we got in early, and the upgrade fee should be the same upgrade fee across the board. We shouldn't get penalized that extra $150 in any upgrade because the price went up. You know, that's like telling me, I bought my airship for $300, and now you, you're, you're charging $700, so I owe you another $400 fucking dollars. Um, you know, that's not right. You know, I mean, it's just, it's just really not when you think about it. But anyway, rant over on that one. Uh, I, I hope I hope there's something nice coming out of that, and that there's a re really good refactor there. But uh, you know, just stuck me in the you know, side wrong because I I happen to have one of each. I have a 750, and I have a 900. Funny thing is, I picked up the 900 dollar town for 600 dollars, so you know, I really don't complain. Too much. <laughs> That's always wonderful. Ah, it's, uh, yeah, yeah, you got you got to wheel and deal in this game, man. You can't make a buck if you don't get the good deals. But yep. what else we want to? Uh, we got uh, just a couple more minutes before we got to wrap up. Well, we don't really have to wrap that up. It's just what we usually well, do. But I, uh, on Chris's work work blog, he's working on a, fixing a few more bugs for one more patch. Yes, I was gonna say uh, we should have just uh, hit. Uh, Mondays, uh, which is the one Mondays. right above that. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. That'll kill a few minutes. <laughs> so this is Chris's update for Monday, where last week was all bug fixing and performance work and not a ton interesting to log about. There are a couple of large outstanding performance issues that he's going to try to deal with on Monday, but likely won't make it to player build until Wednesday morning. First, the effect field code is scary bad in terms of performance. Mm -hmm. He discovered this by attending the dance party where three people were playing instruments in a crowd. Mm -hmm. <gasps> what? No way. No. Instruments? Music issues? Music issues, we wouldn't we, know anything about that, Jackie, about that, Jackie, would before. we? <laughs> we have never complained about that before. <laughs> uh, this also applies to a lot of stuff as well, so he's going to get that cleaned up. Second, somewhere along the lines of the LODs for the houses were changed. The exterior LOD for houses is now super clean and efficient, but in the press process of setting that stuff up, all other elements were removed from LODs or culling layers. Huh. Yeah. Sadly, that's about 80% of the performance cost for houses, and he'll be getting Yay! those cleaned up on Monday and checked in, and it's a Huge massive amount of work. Amount yes, of work. and it's a busy week coming up with the holiday, the telethon, then Rooster Teeth Expo, 
and he's going to be taking his first vacation in three years next week to go Yay. camping in Colorado. And so he's going to be getting ready for that. So Yeah, well, that's he's right. He's going that's zip right. lining. Get these guys yeah. out on vacation now because once those vacations are over, yeah. we want noses to the grindstone and get this thing released. Yes. Oh, yeah, absolutely. And, and we do know that these guys have been working hard over the last couple of years. And, yes, uh, it's been a long time coming for vacation time for these guys. So um, one, and, one of those things. Maybe, maybe, maybe we'll also end up with that missing control demon uh, skill. Maybe. Maybe. But, but of course, uh, don't want to hear people complaining of these guys taking vacation. Uh, they've, they've more than you, you, earned you their vacation what? time. Yeah, they, yeah, they have earned their every little bit of yeah. their vacation time. And uh, when was the last time you went three years without a vacation? Yeah, or, yeah, uh, enough said. Uh, uh, that, uh, that was a long time ago. Yeah. Hell. Yeah, now we I'm just on took a, a vacation, vacation this weekend now, so I don't know. We, we yeah. can't talk. <laughs> I just need everybody to go sub on my channel. Need need people to go sub on need your channel. Need people to go sub on mine too. Need people Come on. to go uh, and Ariasis, yeah. Need people to go out to the Shroud Marketplace and buy up all Jack's teleport and recall scrolls out there. He's got plenty on sale for you. Actually, he's got other stuff on sale for you to buy. Forget the cheap True. recall scrolls. Buy the good stuff. Hey, yeah. Uh, oh, we'll be a bunch of stuff them. added to Shroud We'll be telling them about all that in just a moment. Oh, yeah. Just a little teaser for them out there. Little little teaser. So let's go ahead and uh, give them the daily calendar. You know what? That's interesting. Yeah, don't forget daily calendar is available on the NBNN app along with the, all of the coolest links related to Shroud of the Avatar. And that's available on the Google Play Store, the Apple iTunes Store, or the Amazon App Store. That's right. All the best links for everything related to Shroud of the You've got an electronic device. NBNN. We've got you covered. Yes. And don't forget that also includes the community calendar, which is on nbnn.info. Just click on the calendar button at the top. And then don't forget all times on the calendar or Central Standard Time or Daylight Time, whatever. Ooh, Central movies. Time in the real world, but we prefer to refer to it as nude Britannia nude time. Britannia time. Yes. Today is Wednesday, July 5th. Unless you're watching this later on, then I have no idea what day then it is. Then we don't know what day uh, it is. That's right. At 12 and 6, around the clock, two idiots on WRFB. WRFB. Radio Free. Sit there and interpret the news so you don't have to. That's A right. little show called Lunch with us. With Laz and Jack. Hey, yes. On Avatars Radio at 4 p.m., you can listen to Max Leal and Yay! Elgarian Dakali for the Legion of Myth. Legion at 7 p.m. Wayne Klotz is going to be taking Wayne. over the NBNN stream. Action for, News Reporter. Yeah, he's going to be reporting the action that's happening at the EVL Virtue League PvP tournament. Mm -hmm. With right. the proper PvP penis. And that's going to be taking place in Virtue Oasis. So don't forget registration between 7 and 7.30. Fights begin promptly then. So show up. Don't forget multiple tiers for your Every PvP Wednesday experience. night right here oh, yes. in BNN. Yes. That's right. And if you're looking for some radio to listen to, mm -hmm. tune in to WRFB. WRFB. For the 70s at 7. Let's get At 8 p.m. Avatar's mm -hmm. radio, DJ Squirrels, Sam Jam Rich, letting the puppies wow. loose. On WRFB. WRFB. Dr. DJ. DJ Dr. Eclipse Maiden. Dr. Eclipse She's going to be probing. Maiden. Yeah, she's going to be probing your ear holes for some unmedicated schizophrenia part. Un. Un. Turn and cough. Mm. Turn and cough. Yeah. Yeah. She, she's, she's not going to be gentle with you when she's doing that either. No. She's going to be probing. <laughs> she's going to be getting all in there. And she's going to be making sure that it's all squeaky clean or something like that. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. And she's going to be doing that during. 
Striker Sparhawks happy hour. Why else can you get virtually drunk on someone else's dime? That's right. It's Laz's favorite event of the week because it's also known as Spin Sparhawks Gold. And as far as I know, OPG, Striker does man. not provide OPG the milk. Yeah. Other people's yeah. gold, man. Somebody buying beer and right. yeah. And the final event of the evening is happening on WRFB. WRFB Radio. And that's the time. record room. And that's our community calendar for this July 5th in Shroud of the Avatar. The Avatar. That's right. Don't forget, don't be avatarded, folks. Thanks to the good folks over at the Recap yeah. Band. That's right. If you need any information, what's going on out there, community events, go out and check out the MBN and uh, Shrine of the Avatar community calendar. And, of course, if your calendar is not listed or you got an event you want listed, you can come see me. I'll get it on the calendar. Uh, there's a public calendar. There's about 30 other people who... Are have access to it, Justin Winfield, Jack. Although, don't bother Jack. He ain't going to get you on the calendar. Yeah. <laughs> Come see me. We'll get it taken care of. I have access to the calendar? Yeah. yeah you got access to everything. Yeah, Since whether when? you know it or not. <laughs> Since when? Yeah. Since the last time you said I don't got access to it, so I gave you access to it. Yeah. Like I said, I didn't not get like a message you, about that. Not like you're going to do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> Don't know what you're talking about. That's right. Don't know what you're talking about, Smalls. Killing me. Killing me, Smalls. But that's right. You got any events you want, uh, get them to us. Uh, if you got a guild calendar and uh, you want your guild events to be posted publicly, let me know. Uh, make your guild calendar public on Google. Send me a link, and we'll get you added to the NBNN Shrouded Avatar community calendar hosted on nbnn.info. And, of course, don't forget all sorts of other great links out there. Uh, you can go out and catch Lace's help videos. You can catch the latest Portalarium live streams. You can catch our past live streams. You can catch uh, all the archive pictures from all the events that I've been to. Um, conventions, uh, Hoblots, uh, Dragon Cons, all that good stuff. All in the archives. Great stuff for you out in the NBNN Soda app and the NBNN.info website. So go check it out. And, uh, of course, you got anything you think needs adding to either of those uh, items, get in touch with this guy and uh, we'll get it added. And, of course, uh, let me also uh, mention we've got our newest addition to the uh, NBNN WRFB family. I know he's here. I don't know if he's uh, actually listening in the room. But uh, Omen. I am. Okay. Omen is going to be Omen's. He goes by a couple different names, but we can call him DJ Omen. It's going to be taken to the airwaves every Friday and Saturday late night. Actually, it's going to be Saturday mornings, 1 a.m. to 3 a.m. and uh, Sunday mornings, which is just you know, late Friday night and Saturday night. After midnight, uh, rocking the airwaves, bringing you uh, the alter what alternative, is it? I, I know uh, industrial, industrial, hard style, and dubstep. Right. And, the white, and things with that in that area. And uh, he's going to be joining us. Uh, we gave him a test run on the airwaves last night, passed it with flying colors. And uh, he's a newbie to the game, so if you see him out there, go ahead and wave hello. Uh, show him your support out there. And, of course, uh, and yep. don't forget to friend him in-game as Omen Crow. Yeah, Omen Crow is his name in-game. You see him right here on the lot. And, of course, uh, you know... He'll be doing the same thing all our other DJs are listening doing, and uh, I haven't gotten him his email address, but of course uh, when he's on, you'll be able to hit him up in game or send him an email and tell him what you think and all that good stuff. So, uh, welcome Omen to the family, and of course looking forward to your first show this Friday evening. So, stay Thank tuned for that, and uh, you know, welcome aboard. And again, don't forget uh, if you. Uh, or a streamer, or your radio personality, or you just think you've got the knack and you just can't shut your trap and you want to get on the airwaves, come see me as uh, we can get you hooked up, get you started, and point you in the right path. And uh, if you want to get on and play some tunes for the folks and uh, do, do, do a show, we're always looking. we got plenty of time slots to fill on the radio. 
So go on and uh, go out to wrfb.com, that rocks, and uh, fill out the little information form and send it on out to me. You'll be surprised. We're not that tough to deal with, folks. But meanwhile, moving right along, uh, any last thoughts before we uh, start down the line of thanking all those folks that support us? Well, I, I just know that the list keeps on increasing, and we do have to say thank you to everybody, especially those that we miss. Yes, yes. Now, of course, uh, I want to thank, of course, Arius, our first subscriber here in NBNN. Yay. Thank you very much. Yay. Uh, the Airy Fun Live, House of Omen, and, of course, uh, THS Wags. Is that where I'm reading that right? First TNS Wags. Yeah, TNS Wags. So it's blurred out down there. Thank you guys for our first follows. And, of course, we love you guys. Uh, thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, so, with that, let's go ahead and thank the good folks who really keep this uh, well machine oiled and running. Ready for you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just got to get the right <laughs> thing up. I, you, you started singing along with Stones, didn't you? Yeah, well, uh, you know. Shit's yeah, embedded you, you in my head You haven't heard it in so time. long. You're like, man, I, I, I really <laughs> enjoy this song. And, of course, in no particular yeah. order up there on the screen, uh, don't forget our good friends uh, over at the Britannia Mining Company, our friends and family, want you to come on down to Market Road down in Black Rock Cove. And check out all the vendors down there for all your crafting and material needs. Located in the Quell region, just off the Exeter Mines for your mining convenience as well. The uh, Novia Lottery, running by our own Aso Wonder. If you want to get in on the lottery, go out to Mine Went, located just west of uh, Central Brittany. And get your tickets. Weekend Weekly draws are done every Sunday at noon right here in New Britannia. And if you need more information on the lottery, go to novialottery.com. Get the latest updates and information there. Sodamap.com. Jacob White doing, doing the right thing. Giving us the best maps this side of maps. I'll tell you. Great stuff out there. Of course, Arius Coilmore. Coilmore Wands. Putting the magic in your hands. If you're looking for custom crafted wands, our own Arius Coilmore is the guy to see. This guy will work hard to make sure that you got the right magic in your hands and not some piece of junk between your legs. <laughs> what? Huh? What? Huh? I'll, I'll double check. Put, sure. put, put, putting the wood in your hands, That's making right. sure it's nice and hard. The Relic Spy he Rill. He only uses the hardwood. That's right, only the hardwood. RelicSpyRill.com for all your licensed strategy avatar swag uh ben's got all sorts of great stuff out in the store for you everything from hats to patches t-shirts to mugs to uh the nbn and i love this shit bumper sticker uh, all sorts of great stuff let me get that up right all go, sorts yeah. of great stuff located in the uh, relics by real store and if you want to save a little money on that swag uh, you can use the promo code NBNN when you check out at relicsbyrills.com and you will save 10% on your purchase just by using the promo code NBNN. Where did they get that from? I don't know. Of course, don't know. Don't know. the Airy Fund, uh, another another thing close to our heart that uh, we've put in our weight behind and put in a lot of our... A lot of our sweat and tears behind. Uh, if I'd known it was going to be that tearful, I really wouldn't have. But I tell you what, uh, some some you of these streamers re really were pulling at those tear ducts over last weekend's uh, forty-eight hour live stream. Uh, Thex, are you there, real quick? I'm here. What do, have we raised with the Erie Fund for the Just One Life cause? Can you give us a quick synopsis in thirty seconds or less, please? Yeah, uh, we're still uh, working on firming up the numbers after the holiday weekend, but I know we are over four thousand dollars. Just over that, I think we'll probably be around forty-one hundred. Uh, so once we get the final numbers in and all the pendings get approved, uh, we'll have a much more accurate number for everybody. But Absolutely. Yeah, and once all those awesome. final numbers are in and all those approvals in, all those items, physical items, are going to start shipping here uh That's soon right. so keep an eye on your mailboxes for those of you guys who got the collectible posters t-shirts or any other physical items that you may have won during the telethon 
And again, a uh, big thank you to everybody on the staff, everybody who stepped up uh, to help us here at the Area Fund. And of course, look forward to more uh, promotions and community uh, outreach uh, as as we go on through uh, Shrouded Avatar. This is what we're going to be doing, and we're going to be helping anywhere we can. So if you've got uh, some kind of uh, real-life you know, medical problems, uh, you know, you, you know, all sorts of things we do. I can't even start scratching the surface, but uh, reach out to the Airy Fund, see if there's something we can do or we might be able to do for you. Uh, of course, last but not least, uh, we got the Shroud Marketplace, shroudmarketplace.com for all your virtual vendable needs, and you got less than a minute, Jack. I know. Shroud Marketplace is the place to go buy or sell anything Shroud of the Avatar related, and mm-hmm. there are over 55 different players that have set up shop on shroud marketplace every single vendor is responsible for maintaining their own inventory shroud marketplace just provides a, a place for that to loads happen of new stuff and on the marketplace. over the, loads of new stuff i put up um some of the stretch goals that were expired a year and a half ago up for sale so those are up there i know uh Sater added a bunch of codos in game gold flexible placement uh, items oh, rihanna so yeah i know it's like she added some pledge rewards i mean uh, sorry stretch, uh, telethon stuff. rewards yeah anything and everything game related can be bought or sold on shroud marketplace uh, if you're looking to register for an account, go ahead and do so. And if you are interested in selling your stuff, go ahead and click on the vendor registration and you can start selling stuff. I know S- Sater actually had an awesome testimonial on uh, Facebook. Shop. Yeah. Uh, he sold over $3,000 worth of goods. Nice. Nice. It's like, you got to love this stuff. Shroud Marketplace. Want to be your own to go boss? Got or stuff sell. to sell? That's right. Shroudmarketplace.com yeah. is the place to do it. And you know what time yeah, that, that is means now? Yeah. It's time to thank the most time important people around here. And hey, thank man, you guys hey. for watching out on Twitch, Love you YouTube, guys. or listening on WRFB. We w- couldn't do the show R-R-F-B. without you guys, R-R-F-B. and we do it for you. So That's thank right. You. Thank you, guys. We love you guys. Of course, as always, we will be back with more here tomorrow on WRFB Radio Free Britannia. Don't forget, uh, right after our show, uh, 3 o'clock, two hours afterwards, uh, we will be uh, joining in the live stream for six hours of entertainment celebrating Lord British's birthday. So till then, I'm Laz. I'm Jack. And we are NBN. And stay tuned for more news, sports, entertainment, crazy wild happenings, the latest hijinks and shenanigans right here on the NBNN lot. Have a great day, everybody. And we will see you all tomorrow. Bye-bye. Hey. I got my Ultima Dragon shirt. Stop fighting. I've got mine. It's been down here for about a month now. I just got it this week. I got my pins, too. <laughs> I got my necklace. Yeah.